Now we're going to do an AP and lateral knee and both obliques. Now for the AP knee, you want to make sure that the leg is straight up and you'll see the patella on the superior surface. Place your marker indicating the, the limb, which is this is her left knee, so I've got a left marker here. Your central ray is going to enter a half inch below the apex of the patella. So this is our AP knee. All right, next I'm going to do the medial oblique of the knee, which involves turning the leg inward 45 degrees. Okay, so we're going to roll the entire leg in. I'm going to adjust the knee so that it is centered on the IR and transverse line is going to be entering a half an inch below the patella. So this is our medial oblique. On the lateral oblique, I'm going to straighten the leg back up as if it was in an AP projection. And I'm going to turn the leg out approximately 45 degrees. Okay, your central ray is going to be a half inch below the apex of the patella. And then the longitudinal line is going to be hitting at the mid-knee area. So again, this is the left knee, so you'll use your left marker. Uh, for the lateral knee, I'm going to have the patient turn all the way up on the left side. So roll all the way up onto your left side. Okay. I'm going to bend the knee approximately 20, 30 degrees. It doesn't take much of a bending of the knee, but that relaxes the muscles through here, and you can see the space of the knee a little bit better. Okay, now I'm going to just scoop the leg back a little bit. Okay. Now, where I have the knee position now, it's not quite lateral enough. I have the patella almost in profile, and what I'm going to do is roll the leg out a little bit more. Okay, that looks good. Be sure and open it up enough that you are getting the very edge of that patella, because you don't want to cut that off. Okay, your central ray is going to cut right at the apex of the patella, and then this portion is going to coincide with the midpoint of the distal femur. Okay, now something else you can check is palpating the two condyles of the femur. You want those two condyles to be superimposed right over each other. So you're going to have to imagine by your palpation if that is going to be perpendicular. Also, a five degree cephalic angle will help the medial condyle be superimposed over the lateral condyle. So, a five degree cephalic angle on the lateral knee. Double check that the heel is not touching, because usually if the heel is touching, then the leg is not rolled out enough. So, I usually have the heel up from the table a little bit. Palpate the patella, see that it is going perpendicular into the IR. So this is our lateral knee.